assalam alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am auto technical developer so uh, first of all if you haven't subscribed to our channel please please take a second and just subscribe to our channel so uh, also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so uh, in today's video we are going to discuss how to add a field in the form you have uh, any product okay so let me just give you an idea of what the views are so like basically in Udo as I told you in the previous video that uh, Udo stores data in models so models are responsible for storing the data in the database and views are responsible to uh, display those data that is stored in the model so like in Udo there are multiple uh, views available so like in this case if we see this product you can see this uh, computer so this the current view that you can see is Kanban view and we can move to the list view which will show you the list of uh, the views and here is the activity views so there are different views that are available and if I click on this record you will see the form view so basically the form view in the form view you can see all the fields and you can edit uh, and add the changes in the form view so in this video we are going to add a new field that we have added in the model in the previous video so uh, so let me just show you how you can do it so first of all the important thing is to activate the debug mode so let me just uh, 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 tell you that how you can activate the debug mode again so let me just deactivate the debug mode and uh, in order to deactivate the debug mode you need to go here and uh, leave developer mode okay so in this case the developer mode is uh, deactivated so you cannot see the icon to see the detail of the field so uh, here uh, in order to activate the debug mode go to the settings and uh, scroll to the bottom so at the bottom you will see uh, activate developer mode so just click here to activate it so after activating the debug mode uh, let me go to the sales and then products okay and open the product which is computer okay so here you will see this a uh, debug icon so you just need to click here and then uh, you will see these different options available for this purpose so these all options are used by the developer to uh, do some customization so in this case as we are going to modify the form view by adding a new field so what we need to do is to click this edit view form okay so once you click here you will see all the details related to this current view and the details related to the model okay so here you can see the model is product or temp template which we talked about uh, yesterday in the video and the view type is form view okay this is the name of the view so all these things uh, you will understand better when we start uh, developing a new custom module actually this uh, by adding uh, any field just uh, through the debug mode is not the recommended way to do in the production database or if you are developer it is not the recommended way so you just need to like for a developer it is recommended to create a custom module for this purpose and to install this module but this is uh, the best way to understand the Udo structures like how to do uh, customization if you directly start customization it will be difficult for you to understand if you are uh, new to Udo so if you have already a little bit of experience then you can just skip this video because this is for the beginners okay so uh, what we can do here you can see uh, like it may be a bit confusing but don't worry you will understand it at the end this is the code uh, which is XML code and here you can see different fields which is default code and let me just uh, close it you can see default code bar code and this type of thing so let me just close it and if we uh, bring the cursor over here you can see the technical name is default code so actually these fields are uh, added in the XML and it is displayed here so if you bring the cursor over here you can see the bar code and uh, so what we need to do is to add the field just after the barcode like uh, here so for this purpose let me just uh, check the name so yesterday we have added the field with the name x processor 
so uh, here let me just uh, go to the next uh, field and uh, let me just copy this field and paste it here so in order to add a new field you just need to use this format open a bracket and then field and then name is equal to here you need to add the name of the field that you have added which is x processor okay and then uh, string close and then bracket close okay like this this is how you can add a new field to the view okay so this is totally same for all the views like if you want to add it in the tree view you just need to follow the same steps but you need to follow the steps for the tree view not for the form you keep in mind this thing so just save it and done okay so you cannot see the field but uh, we need to refresh the browser page so after refreshing the browser page you can see this is the uh, uh, you can see the field name here you can add something like uh, core i7 okay core i7 something like uh, ninth generation so you can add the uh, related uh, processor information this is just uh, a dummy data okay and just click here to save it so this is it we have added a field uh, in the model in the previous video and we have added a field in the form view okay so i will uh, in the next video i will discuss how to add like the field in the other views but i will give you one uh, assignment one challenge so you need to solve that uh, challenge i will uh, show you uh, how you can uh, add it at the end of the video so uh, Please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.